What's up, Internet? Seeing your whoopee here from the Rocky Mountains. I'm in Denver, believe it or not. We are at a hotel in Denver. It's a long story. I'm just going to set the camera up like so. Hopefully you can see me. Hopefully you can hear me from all the way over here because I have something special for all of you. So, you know, I like to review foods. I like candy, I like sodas, I like all that crazy stuff. So I've got this box of almost every single Kit Kat flavor known to man, especially like some holiday ones and an entire collection of Japanese Kit Kats. So this is not just like America or Japan. This is like worldwide Kit Kat taste test. We're going to try every single one of them. I've got my spit can over here in case one's like really nasty. And then we got wasabi in here. I've got my palate cleanser. I got water. Let me just <sighs> hydrate. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. We're going to go ahead and jump on in. This is the first one in the Japanese pack. You can actually see it's got like some Japanese writing on it. This is Japan's regular Kit Kat flavor. So I'm thinking we'll do all the Japanese flavors and then move into the other ones. So these are from last Christmas. Still smells like a Kit Kat. Let's, uh, let's try it. I don't plan to eat too much of all of these. So I'm just gonna take a nibble. We'll I mean, I know what a regular Kit Kat tastes like. I hope you do too. If you don't, go out, pause the video, buy one, and try it with me. Ready? Cheers. That's a good Kit Kat. Almost creamier than your regular Kit Kat. That's wild. All right, we're just digging in. Random. I believe this is strawberry cheesecake. Look at that. Let's try it. Kit Kat number two. Ooh, it's white. I love a good white chocolate. It says Kit Kat on it. Let's try it. Mmm. Okay. It's got a real creamy texture. I'm already starting to get hot. I don't know. Might have to turn on the AC. I don't want to, but we might. That one's got a real creamy texture. You can taste the cheesecake-esque. I don't really taste any fruitiness, but who knows. Next we've got chocolate orange. It says it in Japanese and English. So let's try it. Ooh, this one got a little melty. Oh no. Melted chocolate orange. Ooh. All right, let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. That is definitely a chocolate orange. That is so juicy. That one's really good. It's gonna be hard for me to pick these out because I'm putting the trash in one and the Kit Kats which I plan to eat on my road trip back to Vegas tomorrow if they don't melt. We'll see. All right, next one. I think this is like Japanese red bean paste sandwich, maybe. I know a little bit about Japan, but not a lot. And they sell these kind of sandwiches in 7-Eleven. It's like a sweet go-to snack. Let's try it. That's weird. Oh. Oh, that one's not that very good. It tastes like raisins. Like a raisin Kit Kat. Oh. Oh, I need a palate cleanser after that one. Oh. Oh my god. That one's not good. We've been doing good so far, but that one was weird. 
Okay. On to the next one. I don't know what this is, but just based on the packaging, I'm going to say like maple cookie. We'll know if it's maple as soon as we open it from the smell. Ooh, we got a white cream snip. What is that? Almost smells like suntan lotion. Ooh, it's almost like purple inside. Can you see that in this light? It's crazy. Let's try it. What is that? I do not know what that is. The white chocolate is good, but it just tastes like I munched on a moldy book. Oh. Ah. Oh. Let's, let's go on to something else. I think this is a strawberry. Maybe just strawberry Kit Kat. That does sound like a Japanese kind of thing. Ooh, it's pink too. This one didn't get very melty. It still says Kit Kat on it. Mmm. Mmm. As soon as you bite in, strawberry. It's like a strawberry chocolate cream. And then there's even more of a bursting fruit flavor inside the wafer. That was good. I like them. I'm not rating any of these, but... You can base off, you can judge off my reaction whether or not you want to try them. I like sweet, fruity flavors. So I'll probably like this one. It might be like lemon lime Kit Kat. It's already like almost that glow in the dark yellow green color. Oh, wow. This doesn't look like something you would normally eat. Snap it. Kit Kat. Woo! Hmm. That tastes like lemon cookies from a church potluck. Woo! Very lemony. Very good. I do taste kind of like maybe a key lime sweetness. Because it's not just lemon. It's not sour. It's very sweet. That was good. All right, let's move on to another one. Oh, no. I think this is wasabi. Let's try it. So I'm planning on doing a bunch of candy reviews today. I've got, you know, you already saw the giant thing of Kit Kats. But I've got a whole nother box of candy sitting over here staring at me. Things like Twinkie, candy canes, Dr. Pepper jelly beans, key lime pie, M&Ms, you name it. So if you like candy reviews, if you like food reviews, if you like travel videos, if you like thrifting, if you like kayaking, outdoor adventures, just hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment, let me know what you came for, and I'll make more videos like that. But um, you guys ready for wasabi? Smells like chocolate. Yeah. Ooh, crummy. So there's no smell. All right. One, two, three. Yeah. It's good, but you get this weird taste once you get to the wafer inside. I'll be honest, I've never had wasabi, so I, I honestly can't judge. I, I taste something weird, and I think that's the wasabi. I don't think I would recommend this one, but not as bad as everybody makes it out to be. Let's see, we've got another one here that's nondescript and it's right next to green tea. These two look very similar. So let's try the nondescript one. 
figure out what it is. Ooh, this one's very green and crummy. Look at that green. Oh, this is wasabi. I don't know what that last one was. This is wasabi. Oh boy. Cheers, internet. Oh, it's almost savory though, which is kind of good. But that initial first flavor, oh, not good. Not good. Kind of like, that tastes like gingerbread. I'm almost afraid to put those in there with the other Kit Kats, make them all taste bad. Oh, let's try green tea. This is one of the classics. When you hear about Japanese Kit Kats, you're like, they have what? They have green tea Kit Kats? Ooh, this one's a little misshapen on the bottom. Break it open. Ready? Cheers. That is a good green tea flavor. It's really strong. It's not like Arizona green tea. It's very tea. That's all you taste is green and tea. All right. We're getting low on the Japanese flavors. There's maybe four left. I'm leaving sake for last. What do we got left? We got a pink undescript one. We got a tan undescript one. And we got one that actually has writing on it in English. Cheesecake flavored. Let's try cheesecake. Oh, buddy. Get in there. I'm making a bit of a mess. Always remember to leave a tip for your housekeepers. They don't like to clean up after people. They do it because they get paid. Let's try it. Hmm. Cheesecake. Super creamy. Just like that first one that I tried. It was like cheese strawberry cheesecake, I think. You can tell the difference between the two. This one is just cheesecake. That last one was uh, a little bit of something extra. This one's okay. Not my favorite though. Out of all of them, I think the strawberry is probably my favorite over the regular Kit Kat. It's hard to beat just a regular Kit Kat. The chocolate orange is really good. But let's try this nondescript one. Smells like chocolate confectionery. Kit Kat, I'm dropping crumbs everywhere. Oh my God. Cheers. I think this is just wheat flavored. It tastes like honey. No, it tastes like, um, Sugar frosted mini wheats. This is a wheat flavored Kit Kat. That is wild. That tastes like breakfast. If you want to eat Kit Kats for breakfast, I'd say go with that one. So this one's in a pink wrapper and the chocolate is pink too. All right. Sniff test. Whoa, very strawberry. Maybe this is like I know they have normal flavors of Kit Kats and then they have like executive flavors of Kit Kats and they cost more. So this was in like a, on Amazon, just Japanese flavors of Kit Kats lot and you can buy all of them at the same time and they get shipped to you. So maybe they gave me some exclusive and everyday flavors. So let's try this. Whoa. There's like freeze dried bits of strawberry in there. That's so good. Oh. 
Mm. He's getting all over my pants. That one is top in the list right now. That was delicious. All right. Let's try the sake flavor. The sake flavor, I only know it's sake because of the writing on the back. I don't know if you can read that. Pause it. Check it out. It says Japanese sake flavor contains 0.4% alcohol. Please refrain from serving to children and those sensitive to alcohol. Now let's get fucked up. <laughs> Just smells like chocolate off the bat. This one's in great shape. I love a good white chocolate Kit Kat. There is an extra flavor in there, an extra smell. Ah, it's crumbling. All right, let's get a taste of the big one. Whoa. That's got alcohol in it. Not a good flavor. Oh my God. Palate cleanser, please. Okay, so that's like, first thing that came to my mind was like rum raisin. It tastes very strong of alcohol and chocolate. I don't know if I recommend that one. It's gonna be like a wild grab bag in there because there's just like random greens and pinks and whites and chocolates in here. That's nuts. All right, we have finished the Japanese section. Everybody give a round of applause for Japan for making great Kit Kats. I don't know if you knew this, but in Japan, Kit Kat means good luck, if I'm not mistaken. If you know exactly what it is, let me know. So we've got some American flavors here. Let me pull some out. We got raspberry cream. We got actual just lemon crisp, and it's got chocolate inside rather than the ones that I just had. I've got two of these. I'm gonna put one aside. This is from the Duo collection. We've got dark chocolate and latte and strawberry and dark chocolate. And I've got key lime pie. I've got churros. I've got fruity cereal, blueberry muffin, a giant birthday cake. Couldn't find them in small. And the last of the duo collection, mint. So let me put these over here. And as I was pulling them all out, we didn't finish Japanese Kit Kats. Oh my God. Get these back in there. Get those back in there. Get back in there. All right. Let's try these last two. Looks like we've got latte and apple. Hmm. Let me try apple. This one's in a chocolate wrap. Just an actual chocolate chocolate. Whoa. Okay. Mmm. Smells like Mott's soda, which is like an apple soda if you've never tried it. Immediate apple flavor. Mouth-watering, almost. With the chocolate, pretty good combination, but something I'm definitely not used to. It reminds me of a caramel apple, but it's chocolate. It's not caramel. That's weird. No. Anyway, on to the next one. Latte, the last Japanese one. I'm for sure about that. Ooh, this is gray? You just saw a regular chocolate color. What color is that, Internet? That's like a gray brown. Hmm. All right, let's try it. Smell it. Oh no, it smells like raisin again. Cheers. Oh, that's coffee? It's like raisin coffee. Oh, it's the chocolate that does, does not taste right. 
I'm realizing that they're licking it off my fingers. That tastes like bad. Don't recommend that one. All right. Let's just roll my hands in here. The last few in here, these are mostly from America. I think they had some of these other flavors in different places. Blueberry. Now this is one I've actually had before and I really actually enjoy these. The chocolate is kind of blueberry colored. Oh my God, it's so crummy. Oh my God. Oh, there was one that was broken. Oh, it's getting everywhere, guys. It's getting everywhere. All right, break them. Try it. Mm. Even though I've had this one for a minute and you can tell that it's a little bit older, this is probably one of my favorites. Straight, real blueberry flavor with a like kind of pie crust. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. I love that flavor. I hope they bring them back. Okay, so this is one I haven't had before. Fruity cereal. My guess is, especially from the cereal they have on the, the front here, uh, my guess is Fruit Loops. So let's have a smell as soon as I get it open. Oh yeah, it's Fruit Loops. Ooh, it's even like speckled with colors and stuff. I've got to uh, vacuum after I'm done here. <laughs> Let's try this. This one looks uh, like it's sat for a second. I've been collecting these for about two years, two and a half maybe. Let's try it. Very strong Fruit Loops flavor. I mean, smell. Let's see what the flavor's like. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, man. Oh, I gotta stop myself. I'm gonna eat that whole thing. That is so good. That is so good. The wafer inside tastes just like Fruit Loops. Mmm. Mmm. With the chocolate. It's like, I don't know if you've had the Fruit Loops milk that came out. It was at gas stations. They even had like a Breakfast Essentials Fruit Loop drink. That's what it tastes like. Super creamy with the chocolate. Mm. Okay, next. Key lime pie. Let's see how this compares to that lemon lime Japanese one. Ooh, when will I learn? They explode into crumbs. Okay, pull them out over the trash can. Oh Lord. Oh, it's all over the place. Oh God, okay. Key Lime Pie Kit Kats. Hmm. That's pretty good. It's kind of darker, the wafer is. You get that pie crust taste. So if you really like pie crust, you'd like this. The key lime flavor is very subtle. It's like blended into the chocolate. That is good. I gotta wash my hands after this. It's just, that key lime pie was just like the blueberry but instead of blueberry, it's key lime. That was so good. All right, this one is probably one of the newest ones. I found this just a few months ago at a Walmart and I think they're already discontinued. So let's try churro flavored Kit Kats. I found this at a Walmart in Las Vegas. So maybe it's a Southwest thing. The Kit Kats are like sparkled with Cinnamon. This is the nicest looking Kit Kat that we've pulled out. The well, only one that has not crumb all over the place. Let's try it. It's okay. But there's something 
odd about that one. It doesn't have that cinnamon sugar taste. It has like a, almost a maple taste. I think they kind of missed the mark on that one. All right, you can tell it's getting hot in here. My hair is starting to go woof. All right, we're on to, I'm gonna leave maybe the duos for last. Let's open up this big fucker. <laughs> so in case you didn't know, my videos are not meant for children. I make content for adults that act like children. Oh, this is like two regular sized Kit Kats. Look at that. That's more sparkly than the fruit cereal. That's nuts. All right. Ooh, I threw a Kit Kat in the trash. Huh. Let's try it. Cheers, Internet. There's sprinkles. For the first time I've tasted some extra consistency in there and it's like sugar sprinkles in these Kit Kats. With that unmistakable birthday cake batter flavor, which some people do well, some people do poorly. I think this one's kind of poor. I don't think I'd recommend this one. If you love birthday cake flavor, you probably already tried it, but I like birthday cake. It's light and airy, and normally if it has like a whipped topping, I'll eat birthday cake all day. That is just like very deep and rich. A little too rich for me. All right, let's move on to the bag. These are ones I will not have to uh, worry about leaving in my bucket of Kit Kats. I got a bunch here. You want one? Leave a comment down below. Maybe I'll pick somebody and send you a Kit Kat in the mail. I'll send it in December so the sun don't bake it alive. All right, raspberry. I smell it. Yeah, I smell it. Ooh, it's pretty, pretty pink. America does pretty Kit Kats. I haven't seen any bad Kit Kats from America, really. Just really from me keeping them for so long and they become crummy. But Raspberry Kit Kat. This is a uh, Valentine's Day candy, I think. Let's try it. Mm. There's more wafer in the American one and less chocolate. I think I prefer the Japanese Kit Kats to American style Kit Kats. The flavor in this one is like very subtle, very low, very chill, but definitely raspberry. Leaves pink on your fingers. That one's okay. If you like fruity flavored Kit Kats, you might like that one. Not my favorite though. Not terrible, but just not very satisfying. All right, next. Lemon Crisp Kit Kats. Just like the other one, a bunch in here. Pull one out. I like this very yellow branding on the packaging. Let's try this. My hands are so covered in chocolate. It's, it's slipping. Open. Open sesame. Don't you hate that? Oh my god. See if I can smell it. I don't smell anything different yet. All right, got it open. There's holes in my Kit Kat. It looks like Swiss cheese. Look at that. Kit Kat. Oh, now I got it all out of the bag. That definitely smells like church potluck lemon cookies. Whew. Cheers, internet. Very subtle. Really good. That's 
better than the first lemon one that I had by a long shot. The extra wafer in the American one helps that cookie flavor. I love those lemon cookies, I really do. That one's good. That one's good. All right, get some water. If you're watching at home, hydrate. Drink water, you dehydrated noodle. All right, on to the last three. These were obviously failures because every one of them came from the discount rack at different stores. These were from, uh, where were these from? It's like a Kroger brand. And this is from like a Walmart brand. All right. I've had these two before. I don't think I've had the mint. So let's leave mint for last. Let's try strawberry. Excuse me. Oh Lord. Yeah, it's starting to, it's starting to affect me, all this sugar. Oh, these aren't like, it's just a straight edge, is it? Oh no, it's tiny. It's absolutely tiny. Okay, I got it. Ooh. I think this is the first dark chocolate ones we've seen. Surprised Japan didn't uh, throw in a dark chocolate one. So these are really cool color-wise because they're half red and dark chocolate. Mm. That one's good. And I've tried three chocolate or three strawberries today. I would probably put this one on the bottom though. Dark chocolate's not really my thing. And that's what you taste the most of. That chop that uh, strawberry one with the bits of strawberry in it. Mwah. Best one of the day. Oh, wow. All right. This is latte. It's covered by the sticker, but I know what it is. It's latte and dark chocolate. So this one's got more of a ridge. Peel it open. Ooh. Oh, it's crummy. Open it off camera. Oh, it like popped. <laughs> This one's seen much better days. Oh, lordy. Let's take this one from the end that don't look so haggard. Cheers, internet. A smell. Whoa. The taste is very subpar. That smell is overwhelming. It's definitely like coffee but almost maple i'm not the biggest maple fan i'm sorry canada i like maple syrup on my pancakes and my waffles but damn oh my god this is a a six full-size kit kat bars <laughs> look at this put these over there all right mint and dark chocolate this one looks cool We've seen a few green Kit Kats already. We've seen wasabi, green tea, and that other green one that I didn't know what it was. If you read and speak Japanese, please timestamp the names of the flavors that I tried because I don't even know. It would be an amazing thing to have. All right, mint and chocolate, the last one. We made it internet. Cheers to ya. Whew. That smells like mint, thin mint Girl Scout cookies, which are my favorite. So, cheers. Mmm. Oh, yeah. If you gave me that, like chopped up into bits, I would not be able to tell the difference between that and an actual Girl Scout cookie. That is so good. Kit Kat should work with Girl Scouts and make Girl Scout flavored Kit Kats. They made Girl Scout flavored coffee, 
They can do it with Kit Kats too. It would be a win-win. It's just sugar and sugar. But yeah, internet, we did it. <laughs> we tried every flavor of Kit Kat known to mankind. If you find a flavor I haven't tried, send it to me in the comments. Also, you wanna see me around town buying stuff like this? Follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Facebook, watch the reels. That's where I post kind of like what I'm doing right then. For, faith, or for YouTube, I take all this information and I save it and I try to put it out later, except for the shorts. A lot of you probably recently subscribed because of my shorts. I thank you, but I hope you enjoy my long form content too. This is what I started making YouTube videos for, is to try ridiculous candy and just hang out and talk to my homies, my fans, my friends, the internet, if you will. So if you enjoyed, definitely subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and like the video, please. It really helps the algorithm. I'm gonna sit here and make some more videos, but I'm probably gonna get up and wash my hands. They are a little sticky. I might brush my teeth too, just reset. <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Go out there, try some weird candy today, and explore. Come to Denver. I'll be here at the end of the year living, so uh, hit me up. Fuck, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Ta-ra. Mm -hmm.